This video was brought to you by Stoneberg, a bedroom planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are now downtown Oslo, and with me I have Gabriel uh, and also Ola today. So anyway, uh, we're going to do some uh, tests here today. We have, okay, uh, Gabriel is from uh, Momentum uh, Dynamics, and this is the iPace. Now you guys have your own iPace, and we're going to test the efficiency of the wireless charging, because that has been, uh, I guess, a question that some people say, how inefficient is wireless charging? Well, that's why we have also Olaf here, the electrician today. We're going to find out. So <laughs> anyway, uh, I will show you that. Uh, this car has been fitted with a wireless charging pad and uh, we will start from 69%. That's a nice number. Well, actually, no, no, we will start at 70%, but we will just, oh, it's just prototype. Okay, we will just charge it up now to 70% and then we do the test and I can show the setup. If you go over here, and maybe Olaf, you can come with me and I can, and also maybe uh, it's just everyone who's coming. So here we have the, uh, the stuff going on, all the electronics. And this is the device we can measure the energy that goes from, uh, well, where is it from, by the way? It's from, from the charger or something. Well, from, from the, the grid. Oh, yeah, from the grid, pretty much. So we're measuring what actually goes from the grid. And then we will see how, how many kilowatt hour we spend. And then afterwards, we will do the conductive charging, for, well, the regular one with the cable there. And then we see how many kilowatt hours we spend. And we can then guess the, the, the efficiency. But anyway, let's just start and then we see the numbers. So what we're going to do now is uh, we drive forward and then we go up to 70% and then that's going to be the starting point. We will charge from 70 to 90%. The battery is warm-ish. That's also the big unknown, but uh, we will try to estimate based on what we know. And we don't have any OBD stuff going on here, by the way. So now we're charging. All right. See, it's not ramping up. And we have to get ready to move exactly when it hits 70%. Oh, 50 kilo, oh, 50 kilo, well, that's decent speed. Which means that the battery is not that cold, but it's also not, it's not that hot. It's just typical temperature. Uh, Nowadays, it's still in the mid-March. Uh, uh, and then this one, by the way, uh, we can't count on that one because it's just it's the count. Oh, yeah, what, what number is this again? This is uh, for the last half an hour it's set to now, but we can set it on a different. So this is adding up but how many is, kilowatt hours. This uh, is after, uh, it's not at, from the grid, it's at some point here on the way here. Yeah, it's, it's from the pad. It's, so we, uh, it's measuring the output power from the pad. Yeah, so we can't measure, we can't use this one uh, since we are measuring also the conductive charging. So that's why I stopped it. It was hit seventy. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, then yeah. move. So I move back. Also, as soon as you put the car in drive, it stops. Yeah. Okay, let's just verify that you have seventy percent. If you just park yeah. it. If you look here, we can see. Oh yeah, okay, seventy percent. All right, now now we're ready. So now we can just tell Ola to yeah, okay, we are okay. You all can right. start recording, all up. Yep. All right. So now this is the counting, the counter. So he, uh, Olaf started uh, recording the kilowatt hour, or a bit, it's it's supposed to be zero now. And oh, the one very important thing: we have to stop the heater. Yes, let's do that. So now we all put right. the climate off. So I hit parking. Okay. We can count in seconds how many it takes to start. You can see we're charging already. About right. three seconds, I would say. All right. Now we're charging. And now we should not, uh, I mean, the, okay, the screens here will be also the same uh, when we do the conductive charging or the, the cable anyway, but the heater will be off because that's a variable we want to remove from this test. But one thing we can't control is how is the battery heater going on here? So at least what we can document is that at 70%, the car is receiving around 50 kilowatts. And that will give us an idea of how hot the battery is. Also, what we don't know here is that um, this value here, is, is, is this the kilowatt? We, uh, what is this number saying? So it's measuring uh, the uh, total energy delivered. 
No, but the, but the kilowatt number. Uh, it's the the power rate what we're charging right now. But it's not from the, from the pad. F okay, yeah, exactly. From the, pa from the, pad, from the pad, not f into the battery. Into the battery might is most likely lower than this, and we don't know if there's an a battery heater going on. So that's the big unknown. But this is the best we can do on this test. Ideally, we want to have a, a, some car with OBD connection, like a Tesla or uh, yeah, something. Uh, but we don't have it yet, but we can at least try now. And actually we are doing this in the least favorite way for the wireless charging. So it's we'll see. It's a big challenge, <laughs> I think. Okay, so now we just have to wait a little bit until we hit 90%, it's gonna take a while. And maybe record the temperature here as well, three degrees Celsius. Yeah, okay. And here, by the way, is the measuring tool. And right now, it's this is super accurate, right, Olaf? Yeah. So it shows with that um, it's actually pulling 63.5 kilowatt from the grid right now. Yeah. 63.5, but then, uh, Gabriel, this one, can we actually trust it? I, th there is some uh, tolerance in, in this number, but we, we're showing 55, but then it's also uh, how, how much of that is going into the battery itself, like you mentioned with the heating. We, we don't know it, and we don't, we don't have that number for the conductive either. So what we have that's the same is the sock level for, okay. for the car. We will also after measure, based on the state of charge, how fast we were actually charging. But anyway, let me go back to this one. So here we have another counter. This is in milli uh, watt hour. Yeah. <laughs> so it's highly accurate. It, uh, how much is this again? 7.4, 7 7.5 kilowatts now. Kilowatt hour now, okay, 7.5 kilowatt hour. And then we also have the time uh, we, when we started recording and we will compare everything. Uh, okay, so now we just have to wait until we hit 90%. Okay, we've been charged for 10 minutes, we just hit 80%. And I now estimate that, uh, well, actually 49 kilowatt, I estimate 49 kilowatt, but this is based on the energy we actually discharge that. So what actually goes into the battery might be estimated to around 50 kilowatts. So 50 kilowatt is what goes into the battery. That's my best guess right now. It doesn't have to be 100% correct. As long as the method we are using now, we apply the same method when we do the conductive testing or the, the testing with the cable. And then we just want to see the differences. Oh, what the heck? Huh? Why did it just disappear? <laughs> Oh, this is quite impressive. No, I think it's starting to derate. Yeah, it, it went more or less flat until almost 90%. Uh, and uh, the first segment took 10 minutes. It seems like the second segment will take roughly 10 minutes also. Oh, now it starts uh, throttling. All right, all right. Oh, okay, this is weird dance. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> but this should be controlled by the BMS. Not, uh, it's not depending on which uh, type of charging. Okay, oh, we get ready now. Olaf! 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 We... No. Get re ready, start! Just get ready, get ready! Alright, so he's gonna, Olaf gonna stop it exactly at 90%. We at least minimize the measurement error by at the, at the, at the 70% part. But now... 1% left! 1% left! Oh, it's still charging fairly fast. And then you see here, it will take, yeah, it takes actually 10 minutes also for the second uh, segment here. Can't wait to see the kilowatt hour because based on the number here, what goes into the battery is roughly, uh, I know that 100% here, at least when you discharge it, is 81.8 .8 kilowatt hour. This car is pretty new. It's yep. Okay, then he stops it, right? And you see it has 3,600 kilometers on the odometer, so it's a fairly new car. Okay, let's let's check the numbers. Huh? I'll tell you okay, yeah, we're gonna stop the charging. Yep. So based on discharge rate, at least I know that when you discharge the car, you have this much kilowatt hour in the whole battery, and then since we have twenty percent of that, you see sixteen kilowatt hour. But then you have to count some losses in the discharge. But okay, this is just a, a, a guidance number. Sixteen kilowatt hour is what we can expect in the battery. And then uh, from the grid, the grid delivered 20.2 kilowatt hour. So we can calculate the efficiency based on this. And then we do the, yeah, now, now we have the discharge. Uh, all right, 20, I'll write down the numbers. 
um, we were supposed to discharge the car, but I just remember something. So that's why we are here now at Fornebu. Uh, just gonna show something. We are now charging on regular cable. And you know, for some reason, you see that we are charging way slower than uh, when we, we have the wireless charging. Uh, Gabriel noticed that. I don't know what's up with that, but it's, for some reason, once we are charging on the pad, which is down here somewhere, then it goes way faster. Uh, it shouldn't be like that. Or is the BMS messing up with the, or is, is the wireless stuff messing up with the BMS? I'm not sure. But okay, let me tell you the plan now. So, um, state of charge scale is not linear for every car. And especially the eyepiece, what I notice is that in the higher end, you have more energy than in the lower end. So that's why we need to charge it back to 90% and then we reset the trip. The, the mistake was I forgot about it. We should have reset the trip and then we measure how much energy we actually spend uh, during the 20% uh, scale thing. Yeah, so okay, the test takes a little bit longer, but at least we will try to find the true numbers. Okay, we're on the move again. Uh, we are now at 89%. We, we stopped charging at 90% exactly, just like we did with the wireless uh, charging. But uh, now we have reset the trip meter. And also from the screenshot here, you see that we actually added uh, almost 4.5 kilowatt. Or I mean, the, the, the charge delivered 4.5 kilowatt hour just to add 4%. So you see, that's what I experienced with the eyepiece is that the, the further up towards 100% you go, the more energy dense each percent is versus when you are low so that's why so we have to measure now how much energy do we actually spend from 90 percent down to 70 percent not based on the whole scale because it's not linear okay so we managed to get it down to 70 percent now and now we check the numbers here and i calculate how many kilowatt hour we discharge from 90 to 70 percent but anyway you know as a coincidence we just have to stop here and look what we ran into. These are hydrogen cars. There seems to be some kind of event. Oh, maybe we need to move uh, a little bit. Yeah, just can you move? Uh, just drive forward. Uh, well, maybe he can get out. There. Okay, okay, back. Uh, go back a little bit. But there seems to be some kind of event. This is a hydrogen uh, fuel refueling station. And there's a bunch of uh, Toyota hydrogen cars here. <laughs> well, anyway, that's uh, little, okay. Now we just go back to the starting uh, the, the wireless charging. Uh. Okay, we're back here at Olaf Amtesgata. Uh, now we just want to do the same thing like we did before. We charge it to 70% exactly, and then we stop charging. And then we start the measurement. So this is um, a 180 kilowatt charger. So uh, the iPad should be able to take uh, actually 100 kilowatts from it. So we just have to top it up a little bit. And then we do the measurement. So we're now, uh, this is uh, from the Evini, or what used to be BKK. So the cool feature here is that we see uh, this, uh, yeah, see charging speed or charging power. Roughly 40 kilowatt is reported from the backend system here. How much you can trust it, I'm not sure. So roughly 40 kilowatt at least. And then here, Huh, 42.7 kilowatt. That's way smaller difference than um, with the wireless charging. But uh, what is interesting is that before we started charging here, we just topped up on the wireless and it was showing, uh, uh, we were getting 50 kilowatt. <laughs> For some reason, the charging on the cable is always slower and this is 180 kilowatt charger. All right, and then the what power is it? This one or is it this button here? Okay, so here we see again uh, 1.7 kilowatt hour. So we have to do the test until uh, we hit. Uh, oh, sorry, until we hit. How was it again? Look at that one. How many percent are we at now? So, okay, yeah, we have to charge a while until 90 percent. But uh, with the wireless charging, it took 20 minutes. This one might take longer. Okay, we, we finished to 90%. And if you look here, this one, 23.2 kilowatt hour, but it took uh, a lot longer, around 32, 33 minutes. Well, okay, let me crunch the numbers and then I will show you guys the result. So as a small bonus now, 
We are charging at 45 kilowatts on the wireless pad. <laughs> Actually at 90%, this is kind of weird. Uh, okay, anyway, all right, uh, but then I will show you. But then I'm gonna leave the car. So, just gonna show you here. We have the pad here. And then on this one, we put snow on it. And you can see that it also works through the snow. And the snow will not melt anything. It just goes, it's not white wave. It's just some other type of wave that is not affected by this. So we're getting 45 kilowatt at 90% on, on this pad <laughs> that is not covered. Let's see here then. Do the snow test also, just for fun. Let's see. It was 45 kilowatt. Oh! It's a little bit dependent where, you, where you're standing and it's also starting to derate, but it's basically the same power <laughs> going through. Okay, so go through the... So it's water is not affecting uh, the wireless charging at all. So okay. this is a Narda probe ELT400 uh, to measure magnetic fields. So we're looking at ICNIRP 2010, general public, and uh, you're allowed to be up to 100% is the limit. So as long as you're below 100%, you are within the limits what's allowed according to the standard. So we can see here... Yeah, uh, I think twist it a little bit. No, 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 now I see yeah, the numbers. Here we're 0.4%. We see in car, inside the car, how much? 0.3. Well, so this is less than 1%. Yeah. And it can be 100%. It can be 100. Even here by the feet, it's less than 1%, 0.6. What about closer to the pad then? So the worst, the worst place, the closest we get to the pad, is right here. This is the closest we get to the pad. See how that is microscopic? No, 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 it's, it's a six yeah. something. Yeah. Briefly. Well, I can't see the numbers now. There. Four, five, ah, oh, okay. Five percent. Five percent. But it's still... And if, really? you, if you compare that to an uh, inductive stove, uh, we used this exact same uh, measurement uh, with my colleague's uh, inductive stove. It's reading 3,000%. So 30 times the limit what is allowed. Uh, and so what, what inductive is it? Inductive stove, like a cooker, inductive cooker that the people have in the house. Oh. So, uh, yeah, you don't have to be worried about magnetic fields. It's much less around the car than what we have uh, on a normal inductive cooker. So the first test, the wireless charging test, uh, we charged from 70 to 90%. It was actually colder, it was three degrees. And um, so I had to figure out then 70 to 90% on the eyepiece, how much is it? So that's what we did the whole charge, uh, this charging test also. And normally, uh, you know, the car's BMS will estimate something a uh, kilowatt hour that you can it thinks you can get but then when, once you actually drive it it's less than that and then the difference is then heat loss in the battery as you discharge the battery that's just the nature of the batteries so um we actually figured out that um if i correct for it we add 1.2 percent and then uh actual based on the actual reading here i came to the conclusion that we have 17.3 kilowatt hour from uh, 70 to 90 percent on the eye pace and then we look at uh, what the grid was delivering and that is 20.2 percent very accurately <laughs> measured by the electrician and that means that in this case for we get 86 percent efficiency but we have to remember that what are we actually measuring here and then what kind of unknown variables do we have uh, we had the heater off but the battery heater might be active so at least that's a number, 86% efficiency. And then when we did the cable test or the conductive uh, charging, um, it was a bit warmer, uh, five to six degrees. It's actually six now, but it was five degrees when we did the test. Um, the test, the charging took way longer. That was one thing I noticed. Instead of t roughly 20 minutes, it took 32 minutes, uh, which could affect the, the, the whole result. But this time, the the meter showed uh, 23.2 kilowatt hour delivered or i mean from pull from the grid so actually 
that's actually three kilowatt hour more than the wireless charging. Yeah, uh, it's fifteen percent more if you want to have it in in a percentage. Yeah. So actually, when if we compare efficiency, it's eighty six percent for wireless charging, and it's only seventy five percent for the the cable. Why the heck was it so uh, so big difference? Well. Um, the, the big unknown here is the battery heater. I don't know exactly how uh, how powerful it is, but it's common that battery heaters are around six kilowatt. So if we actually correct for that, if we assume that the battery heater was on, and actually based on the charging curve in the BK app, you can see that the, the charging actually speeded up a little bit, which indicates that the battery was semi cold or it was not in optimal temperature. Uh, so it went up a little bit and then it started throttling naturally as we go further up but um, uh, that could indicate that we have the battery heater on um, but what i can do is that if i correct for that uh, we charge 12 extra minutes uh, during those 12 extra minutes if you have six kilowatt battery heater that means we spend 1.2 kilowatt hour extra so we, if we deduct 1.2 kilowatt hour from the the grid reading we still get 22 kilowatt hour which is still more than the wireless charging and if we deduct for that one we still get 77 percent efficiency versus 86 percent efficiency for the for the wireless charging so at least uh, this uh, I, this blew my mind i have no idea why the efficiency for cable charging is a lot lower than wireless charging. Uh, and also one big uh, puzzle here is why is the wireless charging charging way faster? It's supposed to throttle. Like we're getting 45 kilowatt at 92%. So it seems to me like um, uh, maybe the BMS has been tampered a bit when it comes to wireless charging. <laughs> I don't know if tampered, but it, it could run on different uh, different uh, algorithms when it starts derating. But even if we look, uh, compare from 70 to 80 percent, it will still see that uh, the wireless charging uh, uses less uh, energy than the conductive charging. Um, and uh, I think one of the reasons uh, why it's using less energy is because of the switching losses, because we have uh, an in inductive load and it's much beneficial when it comes to switching losses. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a mystery even, even for me why it's such a big difference. Because I mean, if you look at the whole span with 20% SOC to be 15% more, it's quite a big difference. It's not, uh, some, not a small number. Hmm. Yeah, so this is really uh, weird. Uh, <laughs> but you see, for the best test, we should actually have a car that we can connect some OBD uh, something to it and read uh, what's going on in the, in the car. Uh, for example, a Tesla Model 3 would be perfect for this. Uh, and it's, you can even, in a Model 3, we can use scan my Tesla, we can see what the heck is going on if the battery heater is on or off. We can actually read uh, what the car estimates the energy we put into it, into the battery and everything. And we can also go into the service menu and we can disable uh, battery heater. But still, even when I did the correction for the battery heater, the, the cable charging is still way less efficient than the wireless charging for some reason. Mm. And also, Remember that we are using an electrician. We are reading from the yeah, the, shed. The, 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 the grid numbers, they are 100% correct. Yeah. They, they are really correct. The rest we can, uh, we can uh, discuss, like uh, how much losses in the battery, etc. But those, those readings from inside, they are 100% correct. Okay, well, I guess maybe we should retest this. Uh, hopefully we can get a Tesla or something with some kind of OBD tool. Yes, we yes, can that would be... Uh, next time. That, that's the only way that you can do an accurate uh, efficiency readout. Like with this test, we're not trying to prove what is the efficiency of the wireless charging. You need to have a breakout box and a lot more equipment to do that. But we just wanted to make a comparison, wireless versus conductive. And also, we only tested 20% this time. Uh, I think, okay, I have an idea. At least we can try the iPads again this spring, summer, when it's warmer outside. Yes. And we can charge from, let's say, 10 to 90%. And it's going to take all day. Yeah. But at least, uh, yeah, we can see if we get some result then. Yeah, maybe even on a different charger, so we don't just compare against one, one charger.
Okay, well, that also works. But they should be the same, right? Anyway, the, those charges. I mean, this charge. this charge is a very well known brand, uh, yeah, so it it's be, not like yeah. we've gone out of our way to find the worst charger by any means. Hmm. Well, okay, but this is interesting. Um, I guess, yeah, you guys can comment now what the heck is going on. Why was the, the conductive charging or the cable charging so much less efficient? I had no idea it was like this. In my head, it's supposed to be 95% efficient, but it was not. It was only 75% or at least 80%. So anyway, um, I think that's going to be it for now. Thank you so much, Gabriel, for the test. Yeah, it's interesting. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so that's going to be for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.